You gotta get yourself one of those. So look at how thin that is, super nice. Look at the color on it. Mm. Afternoon. I Hello, see. Paybo. Sure. How are you? How are you? Very nice, nice to see you here. Nice to see Welcome. you. Thank you so much for having very, me. Very, oh, it's an honor for us oh, to have no, you here. Oh, no, please. My honor and my Thank pleasure. You Thank you so, very much. Welcome to Mazda Restaurant. Wow, amazing. In looks Dubai. <laughs> Let's but go. It's very nice. It looks very homey. The Thank you. Yes, because home. this is about my wife, you know. Yeah. Decoration, it's, I think, uh, Wife's things. Ah, <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm the cook, and my wife is the, for the decoration. Oh, and he's got, she's got this thing to make feel uh, people Very like home. Homey, yeah. You know, Normally, you. when you finish to eat, you don't want to leave. You yeah. want to stay, have a tea, a cup of yeah. tea, and discuss. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. really the, what we wanted to, to let happen. Let's try these starters. Let's so, go. I love Olivier. Yeah. My mom makes Olivier all the time. Yeah. So we're very, like it's one of our favorite things because we're, we're a family of five people, five kids, four yeah. boys and a girl. Yeah. And my mom, every day she makes some kind of sandwich and it's in the refrigerator. When you're hungry, you open the refrigerator yeah. door, you take a sandwich and you go. Yeah. And we used to have Olivier a lot. And uh, I even remember taking this to school a lot and yeah, things like that. It's the, it's I want to try. Typical picnic. Yeah. Food to yeah. a salad Olivier. Yeah. Let's try this, uh, this Olivia. We have the homemade uh, fresh bread also, mm. which is the tuftun. Oh, yeah. And you call it tuftun? Yeah, tuftun, exactly. Oh, it's so, the tuftun bread. So that's the first time I hear that name for this. I know two different tuftuns. One, I think in Pakistan and in, uh, and in Afghanistan, yeah. but it looks different. It's a thick, small round bread. Okay. And then there's also in the south of Iran, yeah. it's like a biscuit. Okay. Savory, but biscuit. Okay, but... Two different things, so... Call it the toftoon, which is like the Indian bread, but more mm. crispy. And actually, it's very good also with the cheese sometimes. When you, put, mm, you want to put the cheese course. inside, it gets really, uh, really good. Listen, you know here we have uh, Kraft cheese, yeah. the cream cheese, yeah. and with this, perfect. Yeah, perfect. All right, yeah. time for the Mirza Qasimi. Yes, the Mirza Qasimi, my wife from, <laughs> from, from Gorgon. Try that right here. Put some of that right on this warm, nice Very warm bread. Mm. Here is the, let's say, uh, the place that I like to be. You know, I made the French school cooking. Oh, In yeah. France, you, uh, you know, when you finish your high school, you can choose uh, Either you can go to the college or you can go in a professional way. Yeah. I choose the kitchen because uh, since I'm a baby, I'm in the kitchen with my father. Ah. And uh, so I went to the French school because there is no Iranian school in France. Of course, but you went <laughs> but to the best school. Exactly. I, um, school and the, the beauty yeah. of that was that I could learn the basis of the French cuisine. And then when I came with my father, we could, uh, I could show him the new technical of the French cuisine because my father is an old fashioned uh, uh, home, uh, let's say, uh, how you say, he made, made self, made oh, man self. Amazing. So yeah. I came with this technical and both together we communicate mm -hmm. and uh, we try to improve the Iranian cuisine. Fantastic, fantastic. And so you're second generation Exactly. Chef. Or exactly. second generation restaurant. Exactly. I mean, when I was a kid, it was uh, for me a formality to be a cook. I didn't want to do nothing else. Wow, I love it. I knew that. I love it. Growing up around this and being in the kitchen, it just it makes you want to stay there. Exactly. And I think it's one of the most beautiful job in the world, really. I, I mean, agree. It's I artistic agree. and... Uh, and you eat. You have, <laughs> we love to eat. I, yeah. so. <laughs> I hear you. So, yeah. so he's, this get, is the, he's, yeah. he's making the kebabs here? that we will go and eat. All so right. one thing is that um, my father also, because he's a self-made man, he's not a uh, cook like the other one because he made him how himself and he's got this artist things oh. and he's very perfectionist oh. every time he wants to improve sometimes it get really you get angry about that we, we, we call it borderline because creative people yeah they're borderline crazy in a good way yeah. 
in a good way, but sometimes you say, come on, let's, <laughs> let us do the job, we know what to do, we have a perfect recipe, but never for him. My dad is the same. Uh, so I th yeah. And so it's uh, amazing because, so because of that, we have really different technical of cooking. Oh. And that's why we are not um, compared to the other Iranian restaurants. Oh. Uh, each restaurant has its beauty. If you make good food, any kind of food, it will be good. Yeah. But it's clear that my father wanted to improve the technical way, the way we cook. Mm. Uh, he used uh, big machines that which in Iran we use big pans, they we can. put the, yeah, the moiche yeah. inside course, uh, and cook. Yeah. He don't do it like this way. He, wants the, he went to the, all the big saloon to see all the new materials and all this. And that's why our kitchen is a, little, it's a bit more technical than Amazing. maybe the others. Uh, I'd like to get uh, that fish in June because you cannot get this everywhere. Korma sabzi, you can get this in, in pretty much all Persian restaurants. Definitely get this in all Persian restaurants. This one right here, I challenge you guys to find this in many restaurants. I've eaten this homemade, it's amazing. This has uh, walnuts, yep. crushed walnuts in exactly. there. It's got uh, pomegranate molasses in yeah. there, it's chicken. Look at that, you got pomegranate seeds, you got that amazing pistachio bits on top, not easy to make. You know, kebabs, mm. it's about Middle East. We can have argue between us, you know, between Lebanese, between always who is make the kefta, could be yeah. there. But what we cannot take about us for the Iranian food is our koresh. Mm. Fesenjun, a little bit with the Armenians. <laughs> Armenians, oh, yeah. they say it's an Armenian dish. But fesenjun, gourmet sabzi, oh, it's yeah. really in Iran you can it. have this. And, and khoresh is basically mm. what, what is the term for a curry type dish or, or a salona as we call it over here. So anything that's in curry format, we call it khoresh. So this one is khoresh badinjun. Yeah, gleime badinjun, exactly. Gleime badinjun. With the chana dal. With the chana dal, amazing. Gourmet sabzi, we'll come back to this, but we gotta go to this yeah, one. And look, at the, look at the beautiful rice. Where have you seen rice look so beautiful like this. So the first one, it's got that barberry. Yeah, in, in, Zeresh, in there, Zeresh right? Polo, Zeresh, which is the, the most Polo. classical uh, uh, rice in Iran. And this goes best with? The chicken, yes, the chicken, exactly. Right? Everything goes with something. You got to do it the right way. So this and this go together. This, Albolo Polo, it can be either with chicken, either with the, the lamb also. The lamb. Yeah. I absolutely love it. And this is impossible to find in very many places. In Dubai, and this is berries inside rice. Look at that, it's a pink rice. This is the Barbie rice. Yeah, it's... Barbie. Yeah, exactly. Barbie season the Barbie, right yes, now. It's the Barbie season. We're on right the tem. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that pistachio up on top, beautiful. And then we go over to this side, and a lot of people refer to this as the green rice. Yeah. This has dill. Look at that, look at the inside. It's a lot of dill, white rice, and this is all basmati rice, of course. And then you've got green little fava beans which have been cooked and they're not, you know, they're 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 not crunchy, they're crispy a little bit, but nicely cooked. Beautiful. This is amazing. This goes with well, you usually have this with, with the, the lamb shank. shank exactly, right? with yeah. the lamb shank, but it's also beautiful cuisine for vegetarians. Oh. Now that it's really every we get more and more vegetarians, there you have everything you need on this uh, dish amazing. for vegetarians. That is brilliant. That's a beautiful dish. And this is a dish that you also have on certain occasions in, yeah. in Iran as yes, well, of right? Course, yeah. All right. And then this is your classical classic rice. It's white rice and it's got that beautiful saffron. And one thing that I will tell you guys about Persian rice. Look at the glistening of the rice. Look at the shine of the rice. That is because cooked nicely, got lots of butter on it. Yeah. Just beautiful. It's so like soft and, and just it's so comforting to eat Persian rice, really. Like, it, it really is amazing. I can't compare it to rice anywhere else in the world. It is the most, like, fluffy and, and, and creamy almost rice. Right? Yeah. You know, in many countries, you choose your, I mean, you eat your meat and the side dish is the rice. Yeah. In Iran, you have your rice and the side dish is your meat. I That's why if you miss your rice, it's the shame of the party. It. You cannot, you cannot miss your rice. It's I the agree. most important. I agree, I agree. And, and look at this. I mean, these rice, as you said, chef, 
you can actually eat all of this, including this white rice. Yeah. Again, try it. Take a spoon, take two spoons. You can eat that on its own. It's, it's super tasty. Of course, so much better and much more elevated when you have it with the sauces and the khoresh and everything like that. But this is phenomenal. Chef, I'm gonna go for this first. Please. And fish in June. In the north of Iran, they eat it more sour and more you go in the south and more sweet it is. More sweet, got it. Uh, that's why many Iranians, when you, they see this in your cart, they ask you, is it sweet or sour? Oh. But we try to make it really the balance, which I think is the best, uh, because Amazing. too sour or too sweet, uh, I prefer it uh, the way uh, Look at what middle. this looks like. Look, look at this sauce. So it's, it's, it has a lot of texture in that sauce. And a lot of that is because of the walnuts, the beautiful walnuts that are just crushed. Crushed. Like there's a, yeah, there's a way to do that as well. This is not an yeah. easy dish to cook. It's not an easy dish, as All you right. said. All right. Mm. Just the right amount of sweet, just the right amount of sour. That texture is so nice and it's warm and, and I love biting into those pomegranate seeds. Yeah. You know, when it crunches. Make the juice oh. out. Of the second you told me we have it, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's what great. I wanted. That's great. So what are you, well, so you so, talked about this yes, machine exactly. over here. So tell me about this machine. Here. This machine, you see, you will see it only in big hotels. Yeah. <laughs> you will not see it. You know, uh, this kind of machine makes you make the Khoresh uh, perfectly. There is no fire, you know, with your rice. The problem of the rice is that in Paris, we have some clients that comes three times a week in our places. And so, why? Because they eat always the same rice. It's very important for us to have this constantly, uh, that when you will come one day, the next day, or in one month, you will have exactly the same. And for that, you need, in, let's say, it's, I know it's a word that people don't like, but industrial machines make you make the same thing. The difference is what you make inside the machine. Uh, industrial doesn't mean only bad food. If yeah. you make amazing ingredients in an industrial machine, yeah. you will have an amazing uh, stuff, you know? Got it. So that's what is it. We make our rice inside. We make our khoresht. I don't know, maybe Prajwal, please. Can you open it? Maybe they can see yeah. inside. Voila. Oh, this, automatic yeah, opening. this automatically. Oh. So you can cook your rice, you can cook your khoresh, you can see this uh, sometimes, you know, there is yeah. only some places that uh, get uh, cooked. Time. And so, uh, uh, blast chiller, because uh, we like to be on the hygienic uh, everything, and ice cream machine. Oh, yeah, you because, gotta have one of those. I mean, you know, in Dubai, it's normal yeah. to make everything homemade. Yeah. But in France, it's not. We have, I'm sorry, French guys. <laughs> I know maybe I will get <laughs> some people upset, but in French, when you go to restaurant, unfortunately, not no, no many make his ice cream in France, you see? Mm -hmm. And us, we make our own ice cream, saffron, rose brilliant. water, cherry, carrot. Oh, brilliant. And we also Ooh. try new stuff, the Chiara Sekanjibin and all this. Wow. Uh, yes, so then it's the good part of the... That is amazing, wow, so fantastic. Voilà, voilà. Full-blown kitchen, full-blown everything. So, yes, big kitchen, and then there are vegetables where they cut vegetables, preparation, oh, yeah. please, please, sorry. Voilà, amazing. and this is our uh, our team here. Amazing, how you doing? How's everything? Hey guys, how are you? Amazing. He's actually preparing for Kuku Sabzi. Kuku Sabzi, oh yeah. wow, that is, that's one of the best things you could eat. Ah, okay. Kuku Sabzi, that's amazing. You yeah, do kuku. that in a sandwich. Kuku Sabzi, you can eat it anytime. Breakfast. Uh, after uh, the, I mean, anytime in the yes for the um, asrune, as we say for the um, uh, how you say asrune actually. It's, uh, what would you call it? Um, le goûter in French. How for, you, what, what do you call it? In French, it's le goûter. Le goûter. Le goûter. Um, when you come out from school and you get your yeah. uh, biscuit, yeah, yeah, we can yeah, have yeah. cuckoo salad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. This is coal or this is not coal? This is a hot stone, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We oh. make the stone get hot yeah. and then we cook the uh, kebabs on the hot stones. Exactly. Amazing. This yeah. is, of course, the kubide. Exactly. Here. We have What's the it? kubide, the juju kebab. kebab. And the point is that the juju kebab, uh, we use real baby chicken coming from uh, France. Woo. That means, uh, because we come from Paris yeah. and we, w we didn't want to come to Dubai and make something else. You see the people you see was uh, seated right here. They we came and they said, we come because we ate in your restaurant in Paris. So we have to make exactly the same food we make in Paris because we want to, to do like that. So that's why most of my meat comes from Europe. Uh, the lamb that I cannot bring it from Europe, it's very difficult. I bring it from Australia, which is amazing, uh, super. super good. 
So that's why, yes, the chicken you will eat, it's real baby chicken. Amazing. It's not chicken. Amazing. Jujikawa actually means baby of chicken. Of course, it means baby chicken, but, but they don't do it here. Yeah. It's just large chicken in pieces. But it's wow. good too, but you will see baby chicken, it's, there is something else. Amazing. It's uh, Amazing. more tender. Okay, fantastic. Amazing. So look, he's skewering the chicken over there. Look at yeah. that. So that is the juje. This juje. So, so you yeah. got thin slices. Yeah, exactly. And he's what we'll do, rolling it's, them, right? Yeah, because yes, what we'll do, because the white of the juje, the, yeah. we, we need to roll it, you know, because we don't want to cut it. And, and what we'll do with the, with the legs, we do something else, for example. Oh, uh, because, you know, the thing is that the one funny thing about us, we try to not make in Dubai, but in France, because in France, well, on my supplier, I can uh, order him only the filet of the juje. Oh. But he charge it way more because he say, yeah, what I can do with the legs? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, so I'm the only restaurant which my boneless juje is more expensive than my bone juje. <laughs> but when people have the plates, they understand. Nobody never said something because when they eat it, they can see the difference. So they. People understand it, you know? Got it, got it. Because got usually it. If, when you use the white of the chicken breast, it's uh, very cheap, you know? Got but we not, we choose to not use that. Got it. And I will show you something else of the technical. This is one of our secrets, but I don't care. I show you because oh. Payman, it's a so great honor to be oh, there. Yeah. That's how we do our meat to be very good marinated. We Ooh. vacuum it. We don't uh, have someone to make it a la minute and put the onion, because for me, it's very important that the onion just Go inside into the and meat. you can oh. see it on the taste. So what we'll do every morning, they take the meat, cut, ta 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 ta, and put it one by one, Amazing. vacuum, and then vac you know how it is, huh? The vacuum meat, the really the marination goes inside. Goes deep in. It's more hygienic, you know, it's not it's not uh, in contact with the hair. And every time we sell one, uh, we open just a bag and we go and um, grill it, I think also. There's yes. one being grilled. Yes, oh. we will do it right. Oh, there's one. one right here. Come on, let's check it out. Right here. You see the bark in Iranian restaurants, they do it like the kubide and the juje. Correct. But us, we chose another technique. He will show it right away. And why that we did that? Because, you know, the red meat, if you want it to be juicy, it has to be really, uh, how to say, saisy, you know? Touching. Like a touching. steak, you know? You will yeah. not, if you cook a steak like this, yeah. it will get dry. Ah. And because of, we don't want our bark to be dry, we decided to cook it like this. Wow. Then there is a very big flame and all the juice will stay inside, you know? Amazing. And we are really the only one who do that. Uh, who do I've that. never seen it before. You know why? Because I understand the other restaurants. This is where your education in French technique yeah. comes in. Right? Exactly, yes. You, you looked at that and you said, wait a minute, I can make this better. Juicy, because sometimes your you, bark get a little dry. It does, it does, it does. But you will test this one, you will see it will, oh. this one is, will not get dry. Innovation, innovation. Uh, good Fantastic. product, good cook, impossible to Pretty miss. Got it. I mean, you need the both. Got because it. you need the guy who knows how to, to make it also. Huh? Amazing, amazing. Human being is uh, very important. Of course, too. absolutely, absolutely. And it takes a great leader to make it all come yes, together. Of course, yeah, exactly. Amazing. Fantastic. So, okay, super. So, what about tasting now? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Cool. You've got the kebabs as well, so yeah. you've got the kubi there, which kubi is the minced meat. Exactly, minced meat. Uh, then you've got the baby chicken. Baby we put chicken. only the breast here, to, but you can. We have it also all baby chicken with the bones because many people prefer it with bones, Amazing. and some people prefer only the the breast. The breast Amazing. I and we it. have the kebab barg. Barg why? Because barg means leaf, and it's mm. the cut of the meat that it's like a leaf. That's why we call it kebab barg, and uh, we use uh, the main filet of the lamb i mean it's really Phenomenal. tender uh, you Phenomenal. it's melted in your mouth i mean this looks amazing and of course i also want to pay homage to, to this over here very important for uh, a persian uh, table yeah. so these are pickles and i and i, I think they're all yeah, homemade are, yes, exactly. over here i see some beautiful pickles over here this this is so mm. special guys look at it you gotta pickle your garlic and the more years you keep this the better this gets exactly i got one of these chefs from 2001 yeah i haven't touched it yet i want to wait till 2025 and then okay. i'm gonna have my first one but that's great yeah. that's a perfect <laughs> me, me my father he put it uh, on uh, on the box with the vinegar and he told uh, he will use it when my son will get married so oh. we used it a uh, few oh. years ago oh, no. <laughs> And it was very you good. Couldn't, you couldn't wait, huh? No, 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 no. 
All right, thank please, you, thank amazing. You. I had to get up for that because that's so, so important. All right, so I think let's go for the kebab next. Yeah, let's yeah? go for the While it's name. still warm, yeah. I'll try one of these juju kebabs, first Perfect. of all. So I'll take a little bit of everything. I'll take one of yeah. those. Of if you haven't had one of these, yeah. I, mean, I don't know where you've been. This is yeah, like, it's, it's important. I mean, it's not, it's the most important, <laughs> yeah. I think. Look at this, yeah. look at this, look at that. Oh, look at that juice. So these are yeah. grilled tomatoes. You've got to get yourself one of those. A little bit of this. Mince meat, put some of this on top. Mmm, very mellow and yeah, very nice. Yeah, this, the kubi there has to be really very fat, fatty. Mm. But we made the choice to make it a little less uh, fatty. Yeah, I was gonna but say. A little tasty, we put some herbs on it. Mm. You know, we, there, there is a little personal touch on it. The texture is different a little bit than other yeah, kubi, right? Exactly, yeah, mm. exactly. Okay. And um, the beauty of the cook is that at the end of the day, you have to serve what you like. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I'm used to say I like to serve what I like my kids to eat. Nice, yeah. So that's why uh, sometimes you can yeah. make yourself, the, the cooking is a world where you can do whatever you want. So it's Amazing. great that we had this little difference. On I love it. Be I love it. I love the way you've done it. Like, it almost feels like there's a layer on top holding everything in. Yeah. Right, you're not letting the, the good stuff, the juices and all come yeah. out. You're letting yeah, exactly. it stay inside. Yeah, very nice. it's very important too. I love it. You gotta get a little bit of yes, onion. this you know, fresh onion as well. Super important. There was the palate cleanser. And this, the juge. Oh, now this I'm excited about now, because I've to never be honest, had this. In Paris, we are, it, we, people are, get, we are famous for the juge. We, they come for our juge. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh. Can you smell That's this? That's melting. Melty? And you see the saffron? Because another thing is that we have the real saffron of Mashat here. Oh. We not cut, it's only, and that's why people get really um, wow. excited when they taste our juje because you can feel, it's very important to yeah. feel the saffron. I mean, it's a saffron juje, so you need to feel Beautiful. the taste of the saffron. I love it. Thank you very much. So nice. It's, uh, it's very Wagyu-like in terms of just how it melts when you eat it. Not the texture, not anything, but the format of what happens yeah. in your mouth when you eat it. And it's breasts, you know? And you can, yeah. yeah, it's breast. And uh, it's uh, it's not uh, less cooked, it's mm. uh, real. This is because of two things. First of all, the baby chicken. Baby chicken is more tender than chicken breast. Sure. And the second is the marinade. marinade. We make a special marinade, which uh, my father made a lot of time to find out that will give this meltness to this meat. Amazing. Chef, I want to try a little bit of yeah, this. Yeah, with it, the zeresh, it, it yes, should go with the, that. So I'm just gonna put it over, over here. Like I will have, thank you very much. Hmm. How did you get into this line of a career? I mean, I know, I know your father at the yeah. restaurant, but there's a lot of instances where people are not inclined to go towards what the family is doing. What happened with you? <clears throat> it's a very good question because uh, to be honest, I don't know if I want my kids to do the, really? <laughs> the same. Yeah, because it's a very hard uh, work, you know? Mm. Uh, it's a very hard job, uh, so, uh, but I think first of all, my father always wanted me to do that <laughs> because uh, he would, took me every Continue time for the, the holidays, yeah, or yeah, in the kitchen. But I think first of all, there is nothing more beautiful to um, go on with the family business. I agree. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful story and not only for the selling part, it's uh, because, uh, we started in 1984 and I wanted uh, to continue. I love this food and one of the first things when I was a kid, I said, I told myself, how will I do eat these plates when I will grow up if my mm. parents are not there anymore? This is one of, one of was when I was really kid. So then I started to learn the French cuisine because I love to cook French cuisine too. This is one of my passion. And then when I came with my father and he teached me all this, uh, the, the, this things, the Iranian food, which is, by the way, very complicated. It's uh, mm. sometimes some recipe, like you said, the fesenjun and gourmet sabzi are really more complicated. That, complicated, uh, yeah, agree. Yeah. And yes, to the, this, uh, the feeling to, to make the family business grow. And uh, opportunity too, uh, you have to be honest also. Sure. My father gave me a really good uh, uh, things to develop. 
I'm also, I like to, de uh, to develop business also. It's not only, I'm a cook, but I like to develop. So all this together make, oh, make me... It, it got you excited to, to do it. Exactly. How, how easy was it to work with dad? I mean, it was, you know, me, when we were growing up, I loved my dad, my dad is my best friend. But, know. you know, sometimes, and with anybody, even with my brothers. So with my brothers, you know, my best friends, all of them, my sister, not easy to work together. I know he will see this video. <laughs> but I will tell everything because he knows we speak about this. Uh, how to say, <laughs> it was, you know, my father is a typical oriental father, artistic, let's say a bit dictator. <laughs> With, let, yes, I, I, I use this word, uh, yeah, uh, I, measure, I don't, I can use it. So, as, as an artist, he knew what he wanted. So don't be in his way when he wants something. And uh, because we have to, I mean, he made something really amazing. The food he made was amazing. So it's clear that his uh, word has a lot of uh, power. Sure. But uh, as a young uh, guy who wanted to put his touch to, mm. yeah, at the beginning. With your fingerprints, yeah? Yeah, it was pretty difficult at the beginning. Yeah. Because uh, as we said, uh, it's very difficult to argue with your father. Sure, sure. <laughs> but, uh, but after a while, he has, the, because he's also a very, I mean, he's a, I joking when he's a dictator, he's a very open mind person. And uh, when he saw that uh, we had good ideas to develop the business with the new, uh, new things that the world is changing so fast, you know. And so he gave us the baby with Amazing. me and my wife, which is very important. Nothing could be done without my wife. Amazing. Because uh, as I said, like my mom was for my father. Mm. She, you know, is the, we say in French, les murs porteurs yeah, in the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, of course. The world, the, the, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The yeah. most important uh, structure of the house. It's the backbone, the support of exactly. everything. Exactly. It was my mom, really, and it's my wife also today. Amazing. We, uh, we are a little craziest, uh, my, me and my father, and we have, thank God, very structural and pragmatic person Amazing. behind us to push. To push, good, And good. Uh, so, yes, that's how it... Uh, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That is a, that is a great uh, story. I'm so happy. I'm so happy you did that because oh, otherwise... I wouldn't have been eating over here. Yeah. We wouldn't have, you know, welcomed you to to Dubai. All right, let's Thank try one more one more dish. What, so what would you let's like? Let's go for al balu. Al balu, All perfect. Right, I want to try some of this. Wow. Oh, that's really good. A lot of people think that al balu is cherries. It is, but it, it's in the family of cherries. But it's a sour cherry, yeah, right? Exactly. It's got the sourness yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. The Persians actually they put it in rice. They also have a, a drink, yeah, a drink. That, that they have as well. They do it. Uh, um, we make an ice cream too here. Do ice cream as well. Yeah, nice. yes, yeah. Ice cream as well, and they do jam as well. Yeah, which is exactly. Really, really good. You get the like fresh cream and. We use Fantastic. all the fruits. I mean, we really not uh, spend everything of the fruits. We try to do something with it. Look at that. So look at how thin that is. Super nice. Look at the color on the inside of that. That was beautiful. You saw that cooking with those flames and everything like that. But look, oh, nicely. That's that's done. That's amazing. I'll take one of those and that is like a, a nice little steak right there with the barbie rice mm. and you feel the onion i mean mm. the marination of the onion it's very important the onion you, that you can yeah Amazing. but to cook onion you know not raw i mean mm. it's very because it's cooked on the flame so Amazing. So, Barg is very technical, also a very technical uh, plate. It looks easy when you see it like that, but making a good Barg, it's really, really technical. Mm, interesting. That's why a lot of people don't do it. Like, I mean, unless you're like a proper Persian restaurant, a lot of yeah. the smaller ones that do barbecue and things like that, they won't do a lot of barbecue. Yeah, because first of all, you need to have a, a very good piece of meat, which is uh, expensive. And uh, second, uh, the cooking and all this, uh, yeah. I'm going to add actually yeah, the of course. I usually do the, the qaymeh on top of this. Look at the sauce on your qaymeh also. It's like pasty and very nice. I could feel it's amazing because usually it's very watery. But, but look at this. Just look how that looks. Look at the, the shape of everything over there. This, this is the sign of a lot of ingredients in there. So yeah. that, that they're That's cooked together. The greyme and also uh, the greyme is kind of plate. Uh, actually, all the choresh is the kind of plate. Even for a confirm cook, you need to make it a few times to make it perfectly. Mm. Because, as I said, there is the recipe, but there is also the man behind Amazing. it. When we, my brother and I had a restaurant before, and I told you we were yeah. doing shawarmas and we had sauces from around the world, and the Indian sauce that we had was the makhni, the, the butter chicken sauce. Yeah. But we, we would make 
the sauce in this manner and it had a lot of pureed onions and carrots yeah. and all that into the sauce. But a different way than everybody else does it, but it was just our way and uh, we just liked it. The, the beauty of the cook, you know, mm. the beauty of the kitchen is that you do whatever you have in your heart, you know, yeah, and yeah. that's beautiful. That's True. why everywhere you go with someone who loves cooking, you will eat his cuisine and that's the beauty of our work and that's why machines will never took us take out. Over that. In, in intelligence artificial yeah, yeah, will yeah, never I, take, we'll take for out for us. That's true, that's we true. We are okay in the kitchen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Cannot, uh, <laughs> they will g maybe give us recipe, I don't yeah. say, but they will not make it for they us. They will not make it. Not, no. Certainly not like this. Yes, this exactly. Brilliant. All right, one more bite. This is... Mm. Oh. Yeah, we use lamb, uh, lamb leg for that. We no. choose to use lamb leg because lamb leg is very good for the stew, uh, in my opinion. I love this. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, I gotta stop because I gotta try everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. It makes mm. me happy. That mm. you cannot make more happy. So, so chef, successful restaurant in the mecca of food in Paris. Yes. And yet you decide, let me go to Dubai and open up a restaurant. Yeah. Why? First of all, uh, because uh, we, with my family, we, we love to come to Emirates. That, that's the first point, because it's not only about thinking about business. It's a first a life project. Sure. So the first thing was, yes, we see ourselves lives in Emirates, mm -hmm. in Dubai in particularly, but it could be in another place too, but uh, uh, we, we love Dubai. And uh, second, uh, to look at the market, to see we are next to Iran, Iranian food in Dubai, it's like an Italian food in France. <laughs> mm. So everybody loves it, everybody's used to it. Actually, it's uh, more uh, easier than in France. You know, in mm. France, Iranian cuisine, it's not famous, like Lebanese can be, like Chinese or Indian can be. Mm. Uh, but here, we are in competition. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, even sometimes I see more Persian restaurant yeah, than Indian yeah. restaurant. Yeah. That's funny. And, and because of, to be honest, uh, we think we are a little different we are not cello kababi we will bring something new so that means we maybe will have a new market for that amazing and uh, that's why we said uh, i think we have to make our chance in dubai Fantastic. for all these reasons but no. first of all our life choice amazing i want to jump and get one of those yes. uh, that, that cuckoo sabzi yeah. over there that of looks, course that looks amazing look at this this is this is a patty that's made with lots of greens so sabzi means greens right a bunch of them I don't know which one goes in there, but it's also with, with eggs, right? So yeah, exactly. In fact, it's an it's a inverse omelette. It's 10% eggs, 90% uh, sabzi uh, herbs. The, the opposite of an omelette. It's not very important which herbs you put. It's very important mm. to put the little bit of chambelile, uh -huh. which is the fenugreek, fenugreek which, yeah. but which will give the taste of it. Look at that green on the inside. Look at this. You can have this also on sandwich, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I want to do. I want a, I want a piece of bread. Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll put this on a piece of maybe bread. Maybe some lavash. lavash. Yeah. A piece over here. So what is this one over here? This one is shawmi. Shawmi uh, is a, it's like the cutlet right away. It's yeah. a, it's a donut with the lentils, potato, and meat. It looks meat. like a falafel, but it. it's with meat. And uh, it's very good, actually, with some, a little bit of mustachyar, Amazing. you will see, because uh, Ooh, with the yogurt, yum. this you will see. This is the beauty. Amazing! Beautiful. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Let me see. Mmm. Very biscuity. And yeah, you see it. Mmm. It's, it's such a fine mince, yeah, right? Exactly. Super fine, yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. I've never had something like this before. Show me. You know, it's something you really have uh, in in home at Iran, uh, it's, it's a very, it, you will not find it also too much in the restaurant. Amazing, uh, yeah. yeah. It's really for the picnic, uh, as amazing. you said with the Olivier, and actually we, will t we were talking about this the last time, the, yeah. the cutlet and Olivier oh, sandwich. Oh yeah. yeah, oh my God, so this, this is just one, a cutlet? This, this is the famous cutlet, uh, and it's, we make it the sandwich with the Olivier. Let's say you don't have to do it when you're in diet, to be honest, <laughs> but uh, we used to go in the football stadium, I'm a, yeah, a PSG fan. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So every time we go to the stadium and it's very cold, I used to make some cutlet Olivier sandwich for oh, myself. Fantastic. And wow, when even it's very cold outside, you get hot very mm, quick amazing. because it's, uh, and you get full. It's great, really. It's uh, one of, it's really cutlet Olivier. Each person in Paris, when they come, they say, what do you, I want a sandwich. What could I take? I said, take cutlet Olivier, but be careful. 
you will not change anymore after oh. that. And really, after that, they're not changing anymore because when you taste the Cotelette Olivier, I, I actually can't wait to tell people about this because I know Olivia separately and I know yeah, Cutlet separately. Exactly. Nobody's had it together. But you see, it's uh... interesting. Let me see. So, so this is this is basically potato salad, potato and chicken salad, but a, a lot better than just a normal potato salad. On the Olivier, I'm gonna have it straight together. I'll do this one without bread. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's mixed perfectly. I mean, it should be more common, I think. Cotelette is the ground meat and potatoes, but the meat is raw, which mm. makes a big difference. Mm. That's why uh, the cotelette is with raw meat and uh, potato. The shawmi is with lentils, cooked meat and potato. Okay, so we're back and I want to try this. Got our lavash bread. Get a piece of that. Yeah. You got to put this on top. Yeah. You got to put a little bit of torshi, right? Or exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, torshi, it would be perfect. You, you, I think okay. I remember you like the hot food, huh? Um, I'm okay. Okay, I don't because this is it. very, very spicy. Very Be careful. Spicy. Okay, okay. Good. But so the good. torshi is perfect, I All think, right. with the kuku sabzi. That's amazing. <laughs> mm. I was in LA and I drove to. Beverly Hills? Well, yeah, uh, close to it, the street which has all the Iranian restaurants yeah. and everything. Oh, what's it called? Oh, I forget the name of it. But I went straight to get one of these. Yeah. And the ice cream, of course. Yes, of ice course. Cream. I love it. Whoa, that is so unique to have these, this, this cutlet that is, it's, it's like an omelet, you're right. It's, yeah. it's close to being an omelet, but it's got a ton of greens in it. And it's majority greens, as the chef said. Okay, a couple more things you gotta try very quickly. Chef, while I try this dish, I wanted to ask you, what's the difference between operating a restaurant in Paris yeah. and operating a restaurant over here? The opening and the operating. Okay, uh, the difference is that it's very clear. In Dubai, it's very difficult until you get open because there okay. is tons of approvals. Okay. I think all the person who has restaurants, they understand me and they yeah. feel what I'm talking about. So when we let you open over here, we make sure everything is okay exactly. for the customer. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you know, for example, they ask for me my cooking diploma and my business diploma I had to translate mm. to give so before they let me open a li give a license. But when your, the, your restaurant is open, everything gets easier. That means mm. they make your life easier. Amazing. And in France, it's the totally opposite. Oh. Uh, it's pretty easy to open. But after, when you open, all the problems start. Oh. Sorry, French guys. I know <laughs> you guys also understand me. But uh, it's, uh, yes, it's pretty difficult uh, with Bob. It's because of the rules, you know, rules sure. are easier here. I did, couldn't experiment a lot because we're not open since a long time. But yeah. we can see that uh, clearly here, they make your life uh, easier as a... Amazing. Not only a restaurant business, I think as a businessman. Amazing. And uh, how, what about access to ingredients? How is that? It was a lot. It depends which ingredients. Mm. Uh, because for the rice, uh, it uh, was very good because mm. uh, we are. I, I use Indian rice, so mm. for here we are a very, in a very good place. For the Iranian ingredients, uh, very good too because we are close to Iran, so that's we have uh, all the person of south of Iran that they can get you anything you want. Mm -hmm. uh, which was a little more difficult for me was for the meat. You can find anything, anything. you want. Also, the suppliers uh, really are great here. You can find everything you want, and I could really. When we came here, you saw some two person was eating here yeah. that know us from Paris, Ooh. and they said it's exactly the same. And Ooh. when you tell me that. It's Super the happy. best thing. Yeah, because that's what I want. I want the person who come and eat in Dubai, they have exactly the same in Paris. For us, it's very important. Amazing. We don't want to make something different. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, the gourmet sabzi. Gourmet sabzi. Look at that. Lots of greens in there. Look at that. You got that kidney beans. Yeah. And I got a little piece of this lamb over here. So this exactly. is Australian lamb, right? Yeah, exactly. Australian lamb leg. Mm. Yeah, gourmet sabzi also. Very mm. technical, very technical plate with the chambéry oh, which really? is make the difference. You make too much, it's too, uh, I mean, oh. really it has to be a... Oh, this is so good. Yeah, honestly, 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 it reminds me of eating at home. Oh, okay. Chef, the food is amazing. And I will try one spoon of this so that, you know, I, I, then I would have tried everything. I gotta yeah. have one of this. Oh, Look at that, look at this rice. Dill, yeah. a ton of dill. Only dill and barley. The oh. Borali, I mean Fab, I mean, I told it yeah, in, yeah. in 40, <laughs> you know, we were in that. Amazing, look at that, but, look at this, uh, look at these green fava beans right here. You know, 
very funny because I come from the French cuisine school and I make some Michelin star restaurant before I come with my father. Sometimes when I see the Persian cuisine, I, I ask myself, how did they come with the fest and June and gourmet salad? Because French cuisine has a logic, you know? For mm -hmm. example, when you make a stew, you make your meat first, then you put the tomato sauce, like the creme. Creme mm -hmm. is kind of this recipe. Mm -hmm. There is a logical. Yeah. But the guy who came out with the gourmet salad yeah, has yeah, to yeah. be a Sacre scientist too, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. you have to do this and then that, yeah, then yeah. you take out this, then this, and you know, it's, and, and sometimes I, when I think, I say, wow, the guy who come out with this yeah, yeah, should be a really big artist or a crazy guy, because there is really not logical and he could come out with this uh, beautiful meal, because Gourmet Sabzi also is one of, I mean... It's like, the, it's the classic yeah, dish the if classic you ask people, dish. you know, like, Persian, you, you walk, you know you're in a Persian house when you walk in and you can and you smell. smell. The name of gourmet <laughs> sabzi want to make you feel it gourmet sabzi. Oh, yeah. And Agreed. when you hear it only, you want to have Agreed. it. Yeah. Oh, it's yummy. Gotta have a little bit of that. Chef. Thank you very oh, much. Beautiful. And you have yeah. diced that we in know, such a nice sometimes way. Sometimes the most simple things are the better, but salad chirozi is the typical it's example of that. Absolutely. And, and I think this salad exists pretty much everywhere in the everywhere world, right, Chef? In the world with different ingredients, more herbs, uh, more tomato, more yeah. lemon juice, more olive Each yeah. person, uh, I mean, each nationality is, yes, I mean, it's an international salad. Yum. Mm. Yum. So, what do we tell everybody out here in the UAE about Mazze? What do you want to tell them? We are different in a good way. I think there is place for all the restaurants, uh, really. We always say that you will have different food in other restaurants, which will be very good, but you will have a different food in uh, our place. 40 years of scientific experience of my father will be here, and also um, we will welcome you as it's your home here, really. Amazing. Thank you very much for having us, Chef. It was phenomenal. Thank you very much. Congratulations on opening this place. It's in the heart of Jumeirah. We're in Jumeirah too. We're right by the canal. Beautiful view. Uh, in the winter, you're gonna have this place, which is yes. gonna have open roofs. Exactly. So you got great weather. You can see Burj Khalifa from here. Yes, amazing. Phenomenal place. Really nice and cozy and quiet and amazing food. And, and the team and yourself, you've been amazing, Chef. Thank you very much for having thank us. You. And, thank uh, you very much, Payment, for coming oh, here. Really, pleasure. it's an honor. Uh, you made my day. Thank oh, you very much. My pleasure. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for having us. I look forward to coming back many, many times. I, I will be here a lot. We'll be. Thank my you very pleasure. much, Chef. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you I appreciate much. it. Amazing.